Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Russia tells Ukraine to lay down arms in Mariupol. As Volodymyr Zelensky says city's destruction could end negotiations Russia's defense ministry has said if Ukrainian forces still fighting in Mariupol lay down their arms starting at 6 a.m. Moscow time on Sunday, their lives will be spared, according to TASS news agency. Russia said earlier that it had cleared all urban areas of resistance in Mariupol and had captured the Alliance steelworks in Mariupol, which could not be independently verified. It said the remaining fighters in the besieged port city are blockaded in Atsevstal, another huge steelworks. TASS quoted Colonel General Mikhail Mazintsev, director of the Russian National Center for Defense Management, as saying Moscow's offer was prompted by the catastrophic situation in the plant as well as purely humane principles. We guarantee that the lives of all those who laid down their arms will be spared, he was quoted as saying. Under the terms of the proposed deal, the remaining defenders in the plant would leave between 6 a.m. and 1 p.m. Moscow time, without weapons or ammunition. There was no immediate reaction from Kiev to the offer. Zelensky says occupation of Mariupol could end negotiations Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky told Ukrainian media that the continuing siege of Mariupol could scuttle any attempts to find a negotiated end to the war. The destruction of all our guys in Mariupol, what they are doing now, can put an end to any format of negotiations, Mr. Zelensky said in an interview. The situation in Mariupol is very difficult in Mariupol, Mr. Zelensky told the Ukrainska Pravda news portal. Our soldiers are blocked, the wounded are blocked. There is a humanitarian crisis, nevertheless, the guys are defending themselves. Mariupol? where a maternity hospital and a theatre packed with sheltering families were bombed, is the site of the worst humanitarian catastrophe of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Read more Mr. Zelensky said he spoke on Saturday with the leaders of Britain and Sweden about how best to help those defending Mariupol and the tens of thousands of civilians trapped in the besieged city. Mariupol's fate can be decided either through battle or diplomacy, he said. Either our partners give Ukraine all of the necessary heavy weapons, the planes, and without exaggeration immediately, so we can reduce the pressure of the occupiers on Mariupol and break the blockade, he said in his nightly video address to the nation. Or we do so through negotiations, in which the role of our partners should be decisive. Mr. Zelensky said the situation in Mariupol remains inhuman, and that Russia is deliberately trying to destroy everyone who is there. The battle for Mariupol has come at a horrific cost to trapped and starving civilians. Locals reported seeing Russian troops digging up bodies from residential courtyards and prohibiting new burials. It was unclear why. Mariupol's capture would allow Russian forces from the Crimean Peninsula to fully link up with troops in the Donbas region, Ukraine's eastern industrial heartland. Space to play or pause, M to mute left and right arrows to seek, up and down arrows for volume. Kharkiv community kitchen destroyed by missile strike Russia's bombardment of cities around Ukraine on Saturday, local time, included an explosion in Kharkiv that destroyed a community kitchen. Kharkiv Mayor Otterikhov said three people were killed and 34 wounded by missile strikes on Saturday in that city alone. The kitchen was set up by World Central Kitchen, which is run by celebrity Shay Jose Andres to establish feeding systems in disaster and war zones. Mr. Andres tweeted that the non-governmental organization's staff members were shaken but safe. The organization said it has reached 30 cities across the country, providing nearly 300,000 meals a day. Mr. Andres said the attack in Kharkiv shows that to give food in the middle of a senseless war is an act of courage, resilience and resistance, and that his group's chefs will keep cooking for Ukraine. Russia renews strikes on Kiv. Kiv Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said one person died and several more were wounded in the Saturday morning air strikes on the Donetsky district of the capital, as Russian forces resumed scattered attacks on the capital in western Ukraine. Our air defense forces are doing everything they can to protect us, but the enemy is insidious and ruthless, Mr. Klitschko said on the Telegram messaging app. The attacks, 
which the Russian Defense Ministry said targeted an armored vehicle plant in the Ukrainian capital, were an explosive reminder to Ukrainians and their Western supporters that the whole country remains under threat despite Russian forces pivot to the east, where a new offensive is feared. Mr. Klitschko urged Ukrainians not to return to Kyiv just yet in televised remarks Saturday, warning that strikes on the capital are likely continue and its suburbs are.